spent in most our lives Living in a gauntlet paradise Fuck the rules, that's what it's true Breaking the rules, got things to do Squirts will take a life a year At least not for a I'm through I'm fucking the secrets of the rooms we Hello again, YouTube! This is Dr. Kendo, and I'm certainly, I guess you could say this time I am shirking my duties. <laughs> I haven't done Gauntlet Legends in uh, forever. Um, so, kind of uh, just to catch people up, if you, if you don't really follow this series, or if you're new to it, uh, coming to it, I just wanted to say that I'm doing the, uh, I call it the Castle Realm, it's like the region, or, you know, there's a... Uh, major regions of the game and each of them have kind of a different feel and different uh, context into what they look like, what enemies come out of them, and all of that good stuff. And so anyway, we're actually in the third level of the Castle Realm and it's the Tower Armory. So right as we start, you might think actually that this is at least what I think whenever I start this level, I never really remember how big it actually is compared to how big it actually is. Does that make sense? Yeah. So, it always just seems a lot bigger, but this is yet another, uh, you know, I guess it probably gets only worse from here re in regarding to uh, what I'm going to say next, is there are plenty of switches that are vastly far away from each other, and it's like, if you miss one, it- Ah, there's death! Okay, if you miss one, then, uh it kind of, you know, throws off the entire flow that you've got going during the level, so it really helps to hit those switches and uh, get them when you should, I guess, you know, when they, when they were intended. So, uh, in order, that's what I guess I should say. So, the Castle Realm, just uh, going back to that, you know, the various realms and everything, the Castle Realm, of course, has these uh, new types of enemies in, uh, you know, comparison to the, the first realm that we were on, which is like the Mountain Realm, I guess you could call it. The enemies, of course, are very fitting because they're knights on this level. They actually were a little bit different on the levels before that we were facing. Please make sure to go back and watch the commentaries from uh, a little bit earlier on. That would be Gauntlet Commentary 5 and 6 was when we started on the castle level. Uh, another thing that I like to talk about is that each level's, you know, the baddies, uh, there's also the critter type of enemies. That's what I'm going to call them pretty much in my commentaries. They're like, you know, the, the smaller, they usually crawl on the ground types of enemies and everything. They were scorpions in the previous realm, but on this one, there are these little rats right here. Then basically the last thing to catch people up with that uh, that is fitting to my play style is I do, I'm pretty selective with items although some people have told me that they pretty much don't use items at all. Why the hell didn't that rock shower work? There's something above me. <laughs> I'm pretty selective with items, but in comparison to other people, I probably do use a lot more because I know, again, as I was saying, some people, they uh, don't use any items at all. So yeah, I like the amulets. I like the shields, you know, so like lightning shield, fire shield, any of that. I also like this, the Phoenix Familiar. I'm actually a big fan of the familiar, so that's one of the things that I looked forward to even when I was a kid playing this game, and I still look forward to it now, is getting the little dragon familiar, and you don't hit that until future levels, so you will see that in a future commentary, surely. But this game is definitely a fun game. I always recommend that whenever you're met with poisonous food or anything like that, you use the shield and the potion, which is Z and B at the same time. And that's basically where you saw the green shield around my character. And the reason that I say that either for death or for the, you know, poisonous food or anything like that is because it has a longer effect, you know, it's lasting longer than if you were to just use up a potion. This way you'll be a little bit invincible, so to speak. I mean, you're not completely invincible, but it's uh, much easier to run through enemies if they're all around you. And it's got the dual purpose of changing the food or getting rid of death or whatever. So we're finally getting down to the lower part of this level and... and I I kind of have a bad feeling that I probably left I probably left a switch somewhere. It's been so long since, you know, I was a kid and I used to play this. Uh, I was absolutely an expert at Gauntlet Legends back in the day. I try to, you know, <laughs> make sure that I know what I'm doing nowadays, but it doesn't always go exactly the same. Sometimes it's so dark, I'm, I'm playing on a different TV than I usually play my video games on. Ah, okay. See, sometimes I have to shoot and feel around, and then I can find the switches and everything, and so I can't see the walls that are destructible and get to these switches. So I'm glad I found that. Plenty of enemies in here. Extra speed, that's one of my most favorite items just for my simple and patient- Oh, damn it. I didn't hit all the switches. <sighs> all right. Here goes the usual speed up moment for Dr. Kendo where I forgot a switch and we have to speed it up and speed it up and speed it up until I get it. 
Oh, yeah. Don't forget the runestone on this level. <laughs> Finally made it to the area that the switch was waiting in. I always thought that you could shoot over that wall. Oh, son of a- I'm just hitting like every trap. This is really stupid. I need to be a lot more careful. <laughs> but we're finally nearing the end of the level. It's a little bit past this. These enemies right here are absolutely humongous and the wizard would have no chance meleeing against these guys. But yeah, it should just be up these stairs, and I uh, think there's a little bit more after that. But we're not too far away. So I'm very, very sorry that I don't keep up with Gauntlet Legends as much as the other games, if you're a big fan of this series from me. Uh, the reason is, kind of a lot of things, is really just with any of my series and my channel as a whole, I do so much in life. I have a fiancé who I spend a lot of time with. We're actually planning for our wedding, which is going to be in September 1st. And I do music and voice acting, and usually during the summer I'm playing on a kickball team. Let's see, geez, I try to fit in video games, and I have a full-time job, and amidst all of that, I try to get the YouTube channel uh, well-maintained and everything. But Gauntlet Legends is also one of the lower traffic things that I put out. My channel mostly consists of Mario Kart Wii and Super Smash Bros. Brawl videos, and those are sort of what get the top amount of views. Gauntlet Legends is pretty much on the bottom right there with Mario Strikers Charged for the uh, few views that they get for me on my channel. But for the love of the games, I will definitely keep on casting them, and I'm very, very sorry if you were looking forward to this and uh, had to wait for so long. But I hope this makes you happy, and uh, I'll definitely try to get some more out in the future. So, thank you very much, and I'll catch you on the next vid, and thanks for viewing. Paradise.